If you're ready to kick your user portal up to the next level, you don't want to miss this video. I'm going into detail about how you can use Stacker and Airtable together in order to allow your customers, your clients, your team to log into your portal and see data in very cool ways. Specifically, I'm going into detail about the layouts inside of Stacker. So if that's of interest, stick around and let's get into it. Hey, my name is Gareth Pronovost and I'm the owner at Gap Consulting, where we help you to organize and automate your business and life. If that's of interest and you want to learn more about that, specifically how we save countless numbers of hours for our clients every week, check out the description below. I'll include links to all kinds of different resources. And your best bet, if you're new to this, is to start off with our Airtable training webinar. We do a live training every week. Again, that link is in the description. You can join us for that free live training and start learning how you can save massive amounts of time by learning how to build this stuff in no code. But without further ado, let's jump into the heart of this. We're talking about Stacker. If you're not familiar with Stacker, it allows you to build a front end user portal so that people can access limited amounts of your Airtable data. Now we recently put out a video for Stacker that shows how you can build that portal from the ground up. So if you're brand new to the software, definitely start there, check that out. It's gonna help this video make a ton more sense. But if you're good with that, if you're good with the basics, let's jump into this video where we're talking about really customizing that user portal experience with the layout function of Stacker. So dropping into my screen, what I'm looking at here is what my layout looks like inside of my app at present. If you recall from our previous video, we have two main tables in Airtable. We've got clients and then we have consultations and each of these you know, has special filters, special permissions, so that when a customer logs in, they only see their specific consultations and they only see their specific client information. Because of course, we don't wanna share this with everybody and that's really the power of Stacker because we don't want the, the users of our database to see everything. Their clients, their customers, we don't want everything shared. So building a Stacker portal gives us this flexibility. But this doesn't look all that sexy. Let's be real, we can do a better job about how we're displaying this data, right? So let's drop into the layout. In the upper right hand corner, we can connect to layout here. And you'll notice that on the left hand side of my screen, as soon as I do that, I get all of these options. So first and foremost, I can decide if I want to filter. So in this case, only certain data would come in. I can decide if I want to sort, so essentially ranking the data that shows up. I can pick a header, cover image, display, inline filters, and then I get granularity on all of these different pieces. These pieces, by the way, are the data that lives back in our Airtable database. So let's see how we can bring this stuff in and really unlock it to do cooler things with our softer user portal. So first and foremost, dropping into our filter option, we can select a specific field that lives inside of this table. Again, this is our consultations table, and then these are all the different columns or fields inside of that table that's in our database in Airtable. So perhaps we want to filter consultation dates, and we can say the following, the date must not be empty or the date must be empty. And of course, by applying these filters, we're going to include or exclude certain data that meets these conditions. Similarly, if we decided to get rid of that, we could look at maybe the client, right? So we could say the client has, and because of the type of data that lives here, we get different permissions. So the, the client is the current user or is not the current user or whatever the case may be. There are a lot of different ways that we can filter this data above and beyond the initial rules that we already put into the data that got us this far. Now, secondly, we can look at sorting. Maybe it makes sense in this case to put our most recent consultations at the top of the list. That way, when our clients log into the portal, they can see the most recent consultation that they had with us. So we can select here and decide to go by consultation date and say 
ascending or in our case, descending. And you see that as soon as I make those adjustments, so too the data shifts and we see that it's now ranked in reverse chronological order. Really great. This is a feature that we can do easily inside of Airtable, but it's awesome that Stacker has made it possible for us to do inside of their app as well. Let's take a look at header now. We can add a title or a description and or an image. So let's go ahead and drop in and say example title just to see how this shows up. You see, as soon as I start typing that, it's added a nice title here at the top of this particular uh, layout page. And I can add a description. Go ahead and drop that in. And then just in a slightly smaller text, we have that filled out here. And we can even add an image. Let's see if I can just bring in a, a, you know, an image from a recent uh, YouTube video, let's say, just so that we can see how this shows up. Okay, not the best example, but you get the idea, right? I'm able to put an image here as the background header. And of course, in this case, I think this makes it a little bit tough to read, especially because the image I chose has text. But if you did a better job at preparing a, a good image for your uh, portal, then you can imagine how it's gonna show up so nicely here. Now we can also add cover images, and this actually has to do with the data that lives in our Airtable database. So let's first pause right now and go back to our database. If you recall, we have the same database built here with clients and consultations. Well, let me bring images in. I have images that live at the client level that connect to these consultations. So why don't I bring them in through a lookup field? I will look up the client that's attached to each consultation and bring in the picture of those clients. And there we go. Now, of course, I have to refresh the data that I have inside of Stacker before I can bring those images in because if I make changes to my underlying data source, of course, I need to refresh that before I'm gonna see them here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on my settings. I'm gonna go to set up home, but before I go, I need to make sure I save and continue to keep these changes that I've already made here. Now, once I'm back here, I can scroll down and set up a sync, right? So the data here we see was update or was automatically uh, synced 15 minutes ago, and that's the plan that I'm on. I can go ahead and manually sync it now, push start update. Could take a few minutes depending on how much data you have. Of course, mine's a sample database, so it wasn't too terribly long. Once I'm done there, I can go back to my setup and just by clicking in the upper left corner, be taken back to a view of what my app looks like. So again, I was playing around in the consultations. So to pick up where I left off, go back to my cover image, and now I see that I have an image that I can select inside of this. And in doing so, we now see that I've included an image with each of these records. Of course, in this case, the image is directly tied to the person that the consultation is with, so this doesn't make a ton of sense in this particular case, but it demonstrates the functionality of what we get here. We have the opportunity to either fit or crop the image. Based on the type of layout that we have here, we notice that that does not have an impact on the way that we've set this up. We can also go into display, and this is where we can choose whether we want the image to show as cards, rows, board, table, or one record only. So let's go ahead and experiment with some of these things and see what they look like. By using cards, it's the same data. Just as in Airtable, we could have like a gallery view versus a grid view, same idea presents here inside of Stacker. Stacker allows us to see the cards, and of course, in this case, they have that cover image. If I flip back to the cover image and I opt to fit it, now suddenly we see that we have a nicely put together record visual for each of these different cases. Now I can also look at some other options. So in rows, we have a similar to the initial one that we had, but uh, slightly nicer. The board is, this is a similar thing to a Kanban view. And so in order for the board to work, we need to make sure that we have a status field. So again, let's pop into our database and add a status field. And this will be best denoted with a single select. And let me just throw a couple of statuses in here, some make-believe fake statuses, just so that we can work with some data. I've got one, two, and three. 
Again, I need to go back to home. Be sure to save your data if you're prompted to do so. And inside of home, I'll need to manually sync my data one more time. Now again, I will go back into the app, back to setup. And by clicking in again, I'll see my consultations and I just need to bring layout in. And again, over here in display, if I go to board, I should now be able to set the status field to the status that I came up with. And so we see that any information that was not assigned to a status is stacked in the none column. And we can drag these things into the other columns, one, two, or three. So this is really, really useful, especially when tracking progress through steps. So if you have uh, you know, projects that go through very specific stages or steps for your organization, using a Kanban view to get a glance at exactly where things are in the process is a really helpful thing. So that's one use of the board view type. We also have the table, and this was how it initially showed up, or one record only, which gives us just one record at a time. So again, this is really nice and easy. You know, Stacker has put it together so that all we have to do is click a few buttons and we get our data to show up how we like. Now, one thing you might want to do is create duplicate versions of views with slight alterations. For example, I have this view of consultations and that represents all my consultations that my clients have had with me. But to make it easier on them, maybe I want to break this into two views that are similar but different. For example, I could have past consultations and upcoming consultations. And by clicking on this like sub layer, that would allow my users to quickly and easily navigate to what they're looking to find. I can do this by actually duplicating this consultation layout. Now that I have it built, I'll duplicate it and I'll create a second similar version called upcoming consults. Once I build this, you'll notice that it adds a layer underneath consultations. And so this is where I can choose to alter the layout for this one without affecting this one. So I can go into this particular version and edit the name and call this previous consults. And now my users get the top layer of consultations and then they can drill into two different views that could have completely different settings. So that in this case, I filter in only certain consults. And in this case, I filter in completely different consults, making it easier for my users to navigate. It's an incredibly powerful tool. And again, something that mirrors the way data is visually available to us inside of Airtable, which makes it really easy to adopt these tools that Stacker has built and apply them here for your portals as well. I hope that this video inspires you to build cool things inside of Stacker. It really does allow us to share our data in ways that Airtable alone can't provide solutions for. So thanks to Stacker again for putting this all together. I know a lot of clients using it and I hope you found a ton of value from this. As I mentioned earlier, if you are just starting out with this and you are looking to really automate and improve your business workflow, check out our webinar that will give you free training on how to leverage automation to run your business more on autopilot and reclaim more of your time. The link for that will be in the description below, but you can check it out at garethpronovost.com slash webinar dash registration. I hope to see you there for our next live training. Thanks so much for checking this out and let me know in the comments what you are using Stacker for and how much time it's saving you in your business. As always, I hope you found that to be extremely helpful. If you did and you'd like to learn more, swing by our website and see how we can help. We offer a free Airtable crash course that will help you level up in Airtable quickly. And we also have some paid services, including hourly consultations with our experts. We have some online courses and a group coaching program. And for advanced needs, we can build a bespoke solution for you from scratch. So swing on by, and I look forward to connecting with you soon.